Welcome Seminole. This is Mr. Pfeiffer, principal of Seminole High School, and I would like to personally welcome each and every one of you to the 2024-2025 school year. I anticipate a fabulous school year with great success, even better than we did last year. We did amazing. We greatly reduced our disciplinary statistics as well as we had tremendous testing growth in every area but one, but we only dropped in one point in that specific area. I want to compliment all of our students for trying so hard, our teachers for doing an amazing job, and I want to continue that trajectory of success. Our sports teams did amazing. We brought home state championships, runner-ups. Our arts programs did amazing as well. National championships, state championships, superiors across the board, and of course our academics are just uh, beyond compare. So again, I want to compliment each of you for bringing that to the table. I want to welcome our new students, our 10th graders here to Seminole High School main campus. We do expect the best of you as you continue your career here. And I want to thank, congratulate, and welcome our seniors. They lead everything that we do here at Seminole. And I am going to lean on them. I'm going to ask them for their help and their guidance as we continue through the school year. We are focusing on pride this year. What is pride? Well, pride basically stands for self-responsibility, doing what you need to do. Most importantly, coming to school each and every day, and while you're here, attending class and doing your best. We want you to be proud of being a Seminole. We want you to take pride in being a Seminole, and we want a very healthy culture here at Seminole High School. And we anticipate we're going to get that. We are continuing our Play-Doh slash Admetum program for those students that are behind in credits. We offer multiple testing sitting um, chances for those students that need to get their tests or their concordance scores done because our main goal, as always, is graduation. And that's from an achievement standpoint. From a safety and security standpoint, there are some new rules here on campus that are uh, entwined in a new law, which basically means uh, identified perimeter doors, classroom doors, and identified perimeter gates are locked at all times. In the future, we will have, being, have uh, magnetic gates uh, and locks for buildings so students can get in. That is to come. But in the meantime, we will keep doors locked and manually open them for those students. But that does mean students get here on time. Of importance, there is something that's being reinitiated at Seminole, and that is called credit denial. So, students are expected to come to school, come to class each and every day, and sit in class and do their best. If students accumulate nine, more than nine days of unexcused absences, their credit in that class will be denied, regardless of what the grade is. To receive the grade earned, whether it be an A, B, C, D, or F, that student will have to make up time and work with our administration staff to identify times to make up time missed in class. So that is a huge shame, students, and we do not want you to get caught in that situation. We will continue to work with our Minga program, and again, that is basically an online app that communicates to students, tracks tardies when they're here, also gives awards and incentives, but most importantly, it automatically emails parents as well when your child's tardy or they receive a detention for being tardy. So please keep up on that app as well. Uh, I've talked an awful lot, uh, but I encourage each and every one of you to get to know me, whether you're a parent or a student or a new teacher. Uh, again, I do think that the success of our school is built upon the culture which impacts the success with school safety and student achievement. But in that, we all need to get to know each other and work together in a common goal. We do have several new administrators. They will have their own Instagram social media posts so you can get to know them as well. But I anticipate a fantastic year knowing that our students are gonna do the best that they possibly can. If any of you need me for whatever reason, the best way to contact me is email, email, O and email. You can call me by phone, but sometimes it takes a while to get to the phone since I'm usually not in my office, so email is the best way. Of course, if I'm around and about, do not hesitate to come on up and talk to me. I'm very accessible in that way, or you can always reach out and contact my executive uh, secretary, Ms. Tina Kendrick, and or any of the other administrators. Again, thank you for such a great start to the school year with day one. And thank you in advance for what I know is going to be an outstanding 2024-2025 school year. Thank you again, and go Knowles!